Good morning, good morning. This is Ginebra Makeup Artist, filming from the city of San Antonio, Texas. Good morning in this beautiful, beautiful Wednesday. I hope you can find um, a good time with me today, that you find an interesting video, that I can actually help you to entertain and to feel in some way some space of your life. Um, welcome all of you don't forget to subscribe to my channel I have uh, some great news to share with you regarding uh, the videos I was just finishing yesterday I'm going to be making a very quick review about every single of the product that I had in exposition yesterday um, I didn't receive everything I was expecting, but it's okay. Uh, everything obeyed to a reason because I was talking about three specific luxury brands, okay? Not to compare them between them, it's just the product I'm being getting because I consider it that they are some of the most exquisite product I ever had. I hope with all my heart if you are watching my channel today, regardless of what is your ethnicity, your color, your nationality, whatever you are watching me, you know, from the around the globe, I just send you all my love and prayers in case you are facing any health issues. Okay, I'm being there. I'm actually recovering. Uh, from something <laughs> kind of nasty that happened for literally a whole week but I'm here again ready to start rocking with you so stay tuned with me meanwhile I start concealing my eyes after applying the concealer sometime like I've been explaining before I totally forgot that I do have amazing product with me you know so this is uh, your backstage, the Flash Perfector. And the shade I'm using is the Zero Neutral. What a beautiful, beautiful product, my friends. I would like to say that it's a medium coverage, okay? But as you can see, it's giving me a beautiful, if that is true, didn't cancel completely the dark circle, but it's giving me a beautiful luminosity as well. And I did apply my Chanel number one. I'm using Chanel B20. It is neutral, B20 neutral. What a beautiful product, my loves, okay? So I'm waiting that the product set on my skin and I did apply on my lips, just a regular lip gloss from Pat McGrath. Uh, after applying the foundation, I did, you know, work with the makeup forever, sponge. I didn't wet the sponge just to even the foundation, even though I, I don't need it because once that my Chanel number one B20 neutral set on my skin. Oh my, it's so even, it's so seamless that literally I don't have to do nothing, okay? Just to wait until the product completely set. This had a tiny little yellow uh, tint I received at that time. My beautiful order, I did two girling. By the time I got this one, I thought it was a whole order, but I'm being unable to receive the whole order because of the, something is with a mail, you know? But, um, it's okay. So the box opened that way. As I explained yesterday, I'm really getting obsessed with girling quality. I couldn't explain enough in words 
the amazing quality of this product. This is the flower blossom, bronzing powder, my terracotta Letaint, along with my meteorites that I have so much to talk about this meteorite. That blew my brain, actually. It's the first time I'm using a product like this, but it's just stunning, okay? And I did chair as well, and I demo, and I swatches. I make the swatches just like about the lipsticks I order, and I'm going to show you the names and the numbers are there. And I have three more waiting on the mail. Then probably it's coming sometime this week. But this foundation, my loves, had me as well as speechless. It's a bronzer powder. Come only on one, this shade, and that's it. But I was, let me, because I have my fingerprint there, but I want that you observe the finish of this gorgeous package. I was explaining, you know, all these luxury brands, they invest a lot on the cases. And some of the cases, you know, the packing of the product is more expensive than the product itself. Look at this beauty. Come with a peachy and a pink shade over there. It's like a, a very beautiful terracotta shade. And I'm going to make a swipe on the pink, that pink over there, so you can see what it is. So again, when you apply this product, my loves, you really want to go in a circle. Uh, the formulation is completely compact. It's not powdery, which I highly, highly shut out to Guerlain. So this is the Terracotta shade. I would like to say that it's a, with a, a beige undertone, kind of beige, goldish undertone. It's not red, okay? And then in the middle, I, I did apply the pink. It's super soft. And at last, the coral shade. That one. Coral and pink. My loves. Yesterday, I did apply this product on my face. It was one swirl on the product. Natural effect, like a sun kiss effect, was in same. Speaking about Guerlain, I know that probably you want to keep looking at this beauty bottle. Guerlain Terracotta Flower Blossom. And this product is manufactured 96% of ingredient, natural ingredient. It's 10 grams of product and 0 0.3 ounces. The powder, the case of the powder is beautifully heavy, not super heavy, but it's beautifully heavy on your hands. As I've been explaining to you, this high-end brand have the same kind of a design on the powder, bronzing powder, as the lid of my foundation. The bottle is glass. I've been explaining uh, on several of my videos that I really appreciate glass on the foundation because I think that the glass can maintain and prolong the life of your product much better than a plastic. If the room got a little bit warmer than the usual, my friends, that is going to affect your product. So it is important that you not only make sure that your foundations in general are in glass 
container. Okay, I know that some people don't like the weight. You know, if they have to carry up uh, their product in a kit, in a case or whatever. But in my personal humble opinion, as a makeup artist, I really think your foundation should be in glass container. The glass is going to keep the product cold. So you need that to prevent, you know, any bacteria forming. This is the Gucci glass container. Just trying to make a point, okay? Um, I was paying attention, even the Dior Backstage Flash Perfector also is glass. My, my concealer from Tom Ford Chanel, they're all glass. And let me give you an opposite feedback. Huda Beauty is just a tube. Huda Beauty is just, it's very hard plastic. But I noticed that the life of the product is not that amazing because it dry a lot on the container, okay? Even if I show you my must go hour glass that I'm being using literally every day, this product also is glass. When you are going to buy your next product, make sure of your valuables. If you are going to, even though you go just for a more uh, economic brand, I know you can find glass. Look, I have another Armani, even Make a Forever glass concealers. The only exception I see is on my product from La Mer, but this is a hard metal. It's like a stainless steel. Every time that I grab this product, it's cold, okay? And the life of the product is intact. And I thought I really have more shimmers, pastel shimmers. Uh, I found the palette, Pastels, from Natasha Tanona. And um, if that is truth, I can see a lot of pastels chase here, but not many shimmers, okay? So as it is usual with me, I think I'm going to be asking for assistance to another palette. I found this gorgeous palette from Sishia. Still literally brand new. I love what a beautiful product. I have a mini collection of this palette. And let me show you something because like I'm saying, I'm looking for a baby pastel blue, okay? So let me do the swipe here. So you know what I'm thinking? I saw a beautiful palette from uh, Isamaya. Look at that. So between those shades, make the shade actually I'm looking for, okay? So I need to create the shade. So today I'm going to be working again with Sishia palette, gorgeous, very pretty product. Natasha Denona pastels palette. And I'm going to be also working with Huda Beauty. This is called Amethyst Obsessions. Amethyst Obsessions. And I'm going to be borrowing the shimmer purple lilac. I have three picks, two from NYX and one from Morphe. So since I don't have a straight shimmer, pastel shimmer blue, I'm going to start applying Natasha Danona matte 
and on top I'm going to apply the shimmer from the other uh, palette so I can create the shade I need. So I'm going to start on the corner of my eye and I'm going to start building the shade. You can use this uh, makeup look, my loves, anytime, any day. So on top, since I don't have the shimmer that I need, the pastel shimmer, okay? I'm going to apply this shade from Sishia and let us see if I can get the effect I'm looking for. Let me see if I can wet a little bit this brush because it's not giving me the finish I want. I'm using Gucci, the mist. Let me pack a little bit more of the product. See if that make a difference. Yeah, it's giving a little bit more shimmer to my eyes, okay? Let's see, at the light, I hope that you actually can appreciate, you know, the finish of this beautiful shade. So, so using the natural curvature, as you see here, using the same curvature, okay? From there, I can go with this product building the shade this is what I like my loves working with this kind of brushes you can manage actually the saturation of the product it's a very kind of simple look but at the same time it's so cute because like I'm saying uh, it's going to be really in as you can see the shade here without applying the shimmer look very insipid okay so what I'm going to do one more time to spray the mist from Gucci in order to pack this gorgeous creamy shimmer shade from there I couldn't apply directly this one because it doesn't have the support of the intensity, okay? I don't know if I can explain. It's a shimmer, but it's to go on top of something. Okay, it's taking form, as you can see. Look, this is a super soft, okay? So I'm going to work with a soft, soft shade in purple because the other one that I have, it really, this is more like a, like a pink, okay? So I really need the shimmer one, which is the very first one I show you. So, the one, the purple, the light purple is going to be applied from the center. You want a transition and not just a harsh line. Let me try with a smaller brush. If I can have a little more payoff of this shade. It is important for you to work with the right brushes.
I need, since this is a, a soft lilac, and I'm going for this, I'm going to be working on my outer, okay? So, building the shade. And with this shade on the corner, I'm going to need, you know, to use the shimmer, this shimmer over here to make it actually a shimmer shade because this is just matte. And this is from Huda Beauty. What I need from this one is just the shade. Oh, okay, this is the thing that I was not missing from Huda Beauty, the amount of allowed already look. And that is considering that now I'm always, you know, shaking my brushes. I hate this. To be really honest, I don't miss any of this product. So with this, my loves, I'm not going to work in a wing. I'm just taking the color just there. Look at that. It's different, but it's very pretty. Remember, I have a deep state of eyes. So that is imperative for me, you know, to work above my crease. Because if I don't do so, when I open my eye, my eyes, you are not going to see the shade I'm working with. Then the palette from Huda have, you know, so much fallout. The transition is beautiful, my friend. The one that I'm grabbing right now is M506. M506, okay? So it's a little blending brush. And the product that is producing so much fallout is these two shades in the middle. This one and that one I'm working with both to give the transition I actually need, okay? When I face this kind of issues, my friends, oh my goodness, it, it is really hard actually. Look at that, what a shame. So this reminds me why I haven't, oh my goodness, this is unbearable friends. Look at that. There's no way. No way. Natasha Danona is a beautiful, you know, palette to make a transition. Look at that. Wow. What a difference, friends. What a difference. Dang. I'm so upset. Okay, those are the three shades I'm working with. I have to make a big clean in my loves. It's a, it is a very sad, it's make me kind of upset, you know. But anyway, I'm um, working on the fusion and I jump back to my Natasha because literally it is unbearable to work with this palette. Unbearable. And this palette is pretty new. And you know what? I like the shade so much. And I proceeded and I buy another one. Let me tell you, not even with a NYX product, I have this amount of problems. Let me use my eye chair protector because it's not kidding. Look. Give me a path of the purple shade and that.
all these colors work beautifully together because they are close to each other on the color wheel. Literally, I have to reapply not only the concealer, but part of the foundation because the fallout went all over. Unbelievable. My left, I did apply my lower, just center water line. A tiny little bit of this artist uh, pencil from Makeup Forever is called Bone. It's just light, like ivory on top. So on top with this angle brush, I'm grabbing a tiny little bit of the matte eyeshadow from Natasha Danona. Be careful if you try to recreate this, don't poke your eye, okay? You know how I do it? For example, I grab the brush once and the brush is in, in place, targeting the angle, I start applying the product downward instead of going like this because that can prevent, you know, from having any unwanted accident. What a beautiful palette from Natasha Danona and judge by yourself if you see any kind of fallout. Friends, I'm been using from this palette one, two, three, four, five shades from here, okay? In order to make and customize, you know, this beautiful baby blue uh, color and using from this palette this gorgeous let me see, look at that. Just to give a little pop of light, it was not enough, so I did apply the End Light by Danessa Myricks. I have literally all the collection and that is one of the reasons I was explaining earlier. I never feel the need to get lip liners since I do have so many of this pencil because this pencil works as eyeliners as, as well. So I can do a contrast with the upper chain. You can use blush or you can use your same eyeshadows. So we can end this work here. I tell you, I can finish here or I can proceed working. Look, I don't know what do you think, but this is part one. Of course, Every single shade that I use today on my eyes look way more intensified because of the lights. Okay, I have two options, my loves. It's just to finish this beautiful look over here or just to apply and make this look into a high fashion makeup look. This is by my Kitco. It's uh, the 1.14. I need to grab a red, yes, as you hear, a red eyeshadow. Look, I have this option. This is a typical blue red. It's very risky. But not impossible, okay, of accomplishing. Let me start by applying the color. Let me show you. I'm using this beautiful, gorgeous red. I hope you like it.
on the rest of my eyelid and what I do I just diffuse slightly the product that is left on my brush because I want one more time a very seamless transition okay. you can see there this is an antagonist shade and I'm going to proceed and apply a tiny little bit of this beautiful shade from uh, Gucci so I'm going to proceed and apply the blush the blush over here is really high so now with my foundation brush I go around I'm not sure you have ever 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 seen before a high fashion makeup look so I've been using Gucci it's a 03 and it's called bright let me see bright pink look my friend I'm obsessed with this makeup look Literally what I'm doing here it is a transition okay of my blush and not touching actually this red but mirroring the purple I place over there this is not a makeup look you are going outside but definitely it is a makeup look you know you can easily see in a passarella you can use a third dimension accessory i'm going to apply some powder what i'm doing grabbing my palette from hourglass butterfly i'm proceeding and work on the light and shadow on my face okay so I'm trying to look straight for you in that little portion where I don't have any color I'm swiping my brush between the three shades and I'm proceeding applying these powders on this area okay. so what is going to do when is the time for the pictures? This is going to bring a lot of light to my face. Remember, it is a high fashion work. What a beautiful palette I really have. I don't want to cancel completely the blush because the blush is a continuation of the work I did on the eyes. This makeup look can end with the other eye, you know, with the same pattern, or I can end it here. So it is my desire to end 
here, okay? I finished actually combining the two palettes due to the other palette it was horrendously ugly to work with, okay? It makes me literally redo all the concealer on the lower eyelid and that is something you never want to happen to you. Highly recommended Natasha Danona Pastels palette. Let me see if I have a red mascara. I'm going to proceed since I don't have a red mascara. I'm going to proceed and use primary red from Danessa Myricks. I'm going to place a tiny little bit of the product on the back of my hand. Just a tiny, that is all what I need. This is a specific brush from Mecca Forever. Look what I'm not going to do. Dip in the tips of this brush and I'm going to proceed and apply it. Look at this. But if you wanna keep this work clean, Look what I'm doing. Even intensifying that red on my eyebrows a little bit more. Brushing my eyebrows. So I did apply another dot of the paint, the color fix. Color fix from Danessa Myricks. What a beautiful uh, makeup look. You can do both eyes like this if you want it, or you can just leave one of the eye like this. This um, color fix, considering that is waterproof, look one that is set, it doesn't transfer. I'm going to keep my lips really soft. I'm going to show you this is the finish I can do the same eye on this one if I want it but I want to show you how you can make actually this makeup look making it wearable for it for a daily basis uh, wearing using just shimmers okay so my camera is not further than a foot away from my eyes. I couldn't be more happy with the performance of all of my product except for this palette. So my recommendation for this summer is get this palette. You can go through years and years with this that Natasha the Nona Pastels and my Sishia that I got on Amazon. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you so much for staying with me until this point. Thank you so much for uh, giving me the company. High fashion makeup look on this side. And a wearable and very in makeup look today. Bringing the blush from your high point of your cheek all the way to your forehead. Thank you very much. And I really hope that you enjoy this makeup look today. This tutorial masterclass. Bye my friends. Again, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, please. I really appreciate it. Bye.